rolling. It's rolling. Short pours. Where's my brew at? Cheers. Cheers. It's a short pour, Brewing TV short pour. That's right. We're at the very end of a brew session. Chip and I are brewing up some Falconers. I don't even know what we called it yet. We were celebrating uh, the International IPA Day, or IPA Day. Dawson pointed out that it was one of those two things, mm -hmm. so we felt it was only appropriate to brew an IPA, which coincidentally enough we had already planned, so mm -hmm. that plan has come together. That's right. What we brewed today is a Red Dinger. Red Dinger, Red Dinger. It was kind of insane, uh, classic badass brewery style. Get your notes, get your notes, man. Yeah, get my notes. 22 pounds of two row. It ended up being two pounds of Care Red, a grain that I love very much. I love red beers, so Care Red, if it can go into anything to make it a little more red, I'm down with that. And then the hops, I was cleaning out a, a, a booty, a treasure trove oh, okay, okay. of um, Falconer's Flight from earlier this spring that have been squirreling away. Eight ounces, we demolished them. They're gone. They were good. Thought we were going to have some for drying hopping, but uh, that ain't going to happen now. So, But the way this went down, we went... We did several things that we've never, I've never done before. Um, we mash hopped, which I saw at Lift Bridge Brewing Company once, where you actually put the hops into the sparge process. Uh, we put two ounces of Falconer's Flight in there. Yep. Yep. And then after we gathered our um, our wort for boiling, we first wort hopped with two ounces of what are called bastards. They're these hops from some friends that have a farm. They planted so many different varieties that they kind of interwoven in the middle. And uh, so there's a bastard hop. Can't yep. figure out what they are. But Falconer's Flight takes the cake on this. We put in at 60, 20, and 5. Falconer's Flight, if you don't know, is kind of this hybrid hop of, I'm probably off base here, but Citra, Simcoe, blank, blank, blank. Google that. What did you learn? What, what, did, what did you do different on this system that you haven't done yet? On I let brewery? you run the show. That's right. Shoot, it was Chip's day. Chip just got to do his thing and I got to be the overseer. As many brew sessions as I have shot, I have never brewed an all grain. Yeah. So I this is a great system to get involved in. I just sat back and made sure he wasn't killing himself <laughs> while I cooked up something. Yeah, man, we had, yeah, tell him what we had. BAM! can't come over to Badass Brewery and not eat. We had some uh, pork kebabs. Oh, oh. It was good. So it was good. Other cool things that happened on this IPA day. Brian showed me this awesome thermometer thing that you point at the <laughs> surface and it tells you how hot or cold something is. So we use that quite a lot. How hot is the camera? Mm. Do it. You probably ruined my lens. 77 degrees. A lot cooler than your beer. You can pick these up anywhere. Brian's dad, Mr. Willie, oh, showed up. Here you go. Mr. Willie showed up and schooled Brian on some of what he could do to improve the badass brewery. Mm -hmm. Inject oxygen into the gas line. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that. So in the end, we brewed 10 gallons of what we're calling the Red Dinger. Red Dinger! Half went into my bucket with some Neo Britannia yeast. Half went into my yeast cake, um, some Safe Ale 05. So I used that yeast cake. This will be the third, maybe the fourth time. It'll be the last time. But that baby will be going a couple hours. It's going to be going insane. So maybe I'll take a picture for you. Check it out. <laughs> and it's on the blow off. Too. I'll, call you, I'll call you on the phone. You can listen to it. Brian ate some baby back ribs, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Badass Jameson Jr. made a fort out of the badass ferment chamber. Mm -hmm. New parents, be advised, keep the locks on the outside. What's that kid ferment best at, temperature-wise? Uh, you have to ask his mama. 98.6. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, we have 10 <laughs> gallons of IPA, OG 1064. The IBUs were guesstimated at 60, but... We shifted a lot of that during brewing. The bastards weren't even in the equation. The mash hops weren't even in the equation. So that's a badass IPA. Yeah. Red Dingham. Red Dingham. Red Dingham. Happy International IPA Day. Don't forget.
next year, next August 4th? Is that what we're on? Sure. Four. IPA day. Oh. Plan ahead. Plan ahead. Two days before me day. Brew an IPA. <laughs>